So European data protection laws and uh, industry laws are very, very uh, interrelated in Europe. Um, what I would say is obviously, you know, they're tightly coupled with the data protection laws and you'll see different regions, different countries put a higher priority on that. Um, examples where data protection is extremely, extremely tight are countries like Germany, um, even with inside the, the European Union. Um, also, you'll find with inside of different um, verticals, for example, the finance and banking verticals will have specific regulations which are extremely tight um, to, to couple those two things together. Compliance absolutely benefits um, security. You know, good compliance allows companies, organizations to really understand what exposures they've got to be able to actually have a foundation to basically implement good security because if you haven't got a clue of what you've got, what the infrastructure looks like and are able to actually um, implement that in a consistent manner, then clearly it's going to be impossible for you to have a strong security posture. So they're absolutely um, tightly coupled. And as I said, you know, in Europe, we're definitely seeing the security piece be the um, higher priority in terms of business driver probably than the compliance uh, in terms of releasing budget and getting a priority in terms of projects that are driven um, to, 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 to implementation. I think one of the benefits looking over the, over the pond to the US is we can obviously see that you're maybe one or two years ahead of where we are in terms of compliance regulation and driving those um, those business uh, initiatives and therefore you know the opportunity this report and what we're doing at the moment can give us is the ability to be able to actually prepare ourselves and think through and learn from some of the experiences that maybe um, you know the US has actually had and help us obviously implement best practice uh, in a more effective manner. I think you know, Europeans are misunderstood. You know, it, it, it's um, sometimes quite challenging to drive regulation into a multilingual, multicultural region. And it's not that we don't see it as a priority, but I think you know you've got a lot more fragmentation in terms of the marketplace, and therefore it does take longer for specific policies and processes to be adopted, written. Um, um, to the to, to meet the local market demands, so you know I don't see Europe, Middle East, Africa not seeing compliance as being a real important driver. I just think you've got to understand it's probably taking a little bit longer to translate that into what that local um, market needs to actually meet those requirements, and and hence why I think the security thing is a bit more compelling while we're going through that process of adapting and really getting that last 5 to 10 percent to mean something locally. Um, and you know, we are delighted to see the US trailblazing this because you know, there's a lot of learning going on there. But you know, locally I think what you'll see is a real desire to take that learning and then take those best practices and skills with companies like Tripwire to, 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 to make um, it's a more effective uh, business relationship where trust is, is and, and confidence is much higher in terms of um, facilitating business and trade.